what's going on y'all welcome back it's us let's get productive so today i want to talk about a plugin that's going to bring a creative flair to your production and your mixes it's a reverb and echo based plugin and i love when reverb and echo plugins get it right and they really help you expand on a dope sound just by taking something that sounds regular and expanding it and really making it spacious and different and unique i love that kind of stuff so i wanted to bring a new plugin to this channel that i discovered recently that i'm really feeling now it comes from slap experts and it's called after image now some of you may have seen the advertising for this thing if you know anything about curtis king the producer he has the tape boy plugin that's really cool it's kind of a lo-fi effects plugin i have that and i really enjoy it um so i wanted to check out some of his other things and i checked out after image and i really like what it does it's very different it's not just generic echoes it's not just generic reverb and we're going to get right into it and i'm going to show you what makes this thing creative all of the control you have over your reverb and your echoes so let's check this thing out after image slap experts let's get right into it and see what this thing is all about so as always i have logic queued up and this is after image now like i said earlier it's a curtis king plugin um made by slap experts they make some really dope stuff and one of the things that i really enjoy about the plugins that they make is their attention to detail in the ui section and the graphics section um i love how creative they get with the artwork when it comes to their plugins this is no different you got a bit of a uh of anime kind of cartoon ninja cat theme going on here it's really cool looking and you're going to see in a little bit that the theme kind of changes depending on what preset you turn this thing to it's really cool um but we're going to go over the ui like we always do and talk about what's happening on the screen first so if you check out the ui like i said it's really clean looking really cool looking i love the kind of animated cartoon effect it's just nice to look at and and it's cool i like when plugins have a nice ui and it's clean and cool to look at it inspires me a little bit it makes me excited to work and it makes it fun you can resize the plugin right now i have it at 100 percent you can make it 150 i'm gonna bring it back down to 100 percent if you look down here, you'll see these two arrows. So whatever you're doing, as far as the plugin is concerned, as far as the settings and different parameters and things that you're changing within the plugin, you have a redo arrow and you have an undo arrow. So you can redo or you can undo any of the settings that you may have made. And that's really cool. You don't see that in a bunch of plugins. So it's really cool to have that in this one, especially with a plugin like this, where you can do so much, you know, you, you might want to try something and just get a little creative and not like what you just did. So to be able to undo is really dope. Down here you have gravel, gravity, and sci-fi. Now sci-fi is just gonna add a bit of character to your echo and your reverb. It's um, it's no real definition for it. You kind of just have to hear it to know what it is. It just it really just adds character to your effect. It just it just gives you a bit of spacious character that you can add to your effect. Gravity really dope i love that they included this in this plugin especially a plugin like this where you can go so over the top with the reverbs and so over the top with the echoes what gravity is going to do is going to kind of act like a side chain to your reverb and your echo and it's going to knock that reverb and echo back behind your original audio source so it's good to be able to kind of go crazy and do some really creative things with your echoes and your reverbs especially when it comes to vocals adding something like this to vocals is going to be really dope but to be able to go that far out and and get that weird and get that crazy with the plugin and the effects and then have this gravity uh knob down here that'll kind of knock the echoes and the reverb back so it sits behind your audio source so it doesn't overcrowd it and overpower it it's there and it's very present but it's only present in the moments when you know your original audio source isn't being present to be able to have that and control that kind of side chain effect is really dope so gravity is a really dope knob to have in this plugin gravel which is another dope setting that you can have is just going to add a bit of grain and saturation to your effect um, right over here in the center, you have your navigation pad, and this is going to help you blend between the echoes and the reverb. It's going to help you blend between your mix and your focus. Well, what do you want to focus more on, your echo or your space reverb? And it's going to help you blend it, and it's going to help you do it in a really fun way. You can kind of just move the arrow around down here. If you look right here, you have a low cut and a high cut filter. You can play with this 
which is another great thing to have because again, you can do so much creative, spacious craziness with this plugin. You wanna be able to tame it. You wanna be able to dial it back because you can do a lot. So having things like gravity and your high cut and your low cut uh, filters is gonna help you tame the craziness of what this thing can really do. Um, over here you have lift, which is gonna add some elevation to your reverb. It's gonna really make it more spacious and really bring it out more. And over here you have spread, and that's gonna deal with the, wi the width of your reverb, basically your stereo field, and it's gonna kind of broaden that verb and really widen it. Over here on the left side, you see it says time L and time R. Um, this is going to help you adjust your echo time, your left and your right echo time, so you can toggle between that. And if you don't feel like really playing with that and you just want them to be in sync with each other, you can click this link button right here, and that's going to link the uh, uh, left and right uh, echo effects so that they're in sync with each other. Right here, you have the BPM. You can turn that on and off. And this is going to sync your echo time to the BPM of your track. Now down here is where you have the opportunity to get really creative. On the right side here, you have beyond. On the left side here, you have image. Now these, you can think of them as uh, presets for the individual effects. So on the right side, you're dealing with reverb and on the left side, you're dealing with echoes. And you can toggle between the different types of echoes just by clicking this arrow right here. Or you can go over here to the right side and you can toggle between the different types of reverb by clicking this arrow right over here. So this is gonna help you change between different types of reverbs and different types of echo. You'll see in a second when I when I show you um, an example of how this thing sounds that the echoes and the reverbs are really spacious, really creative and really unique and, and really fun. And then after you do that, you can still add gravel, you can still turn up the sci-fi effect. Um, there's a lot you can do with this thing. So over here, you'll see you have this freeze button. Now this is really cool. This will freeze up the reverb infinitely. And that's something that, I mean, for the most, I haven't used it um, on, on most of my beats. I haven't used it when I, I added this thing to some vocals. I haven't used it on things like that. But there may come a moment in your mix or a moment in your in your production where you want to just hold that reverb and have it just play out and just never die and just expand, 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 and expand just for the effect on things like dance tracks, EDM tracks. You can turn this freeze button on and it's gonna freeze that reverb for you. Now, the best way to approach this is to automate it. Again, taming is key when it comes to this plugin, being able to have the control over the effects you're using is important. So when turning this thing on, make sure you're going full automation mode with this and it's gonna be, it's gonna work wonders. It's gonna be really cool. Down over here, you can add a bit of density to your track just to, you know, add density to your track. If you, you know, wanna add a little bit of that, that's really cool. Over here on the right side, you have your mix knob, which is not automatically on. So that's dope as well too. You can kind of hear what these effects sound like without it being tamed by the mix knob. You can hear it at its maximum rambunctiousness and go, this sounds insane for what I'm using it on and I need to tame that. And then you can turn your mix knob on and you know, mix it between the dry and the wet signal or you can leave it off, it's up to you. And you have your output knob right over here. And up top, this is where you have your presets, all your different kinds of presets. So on the left side here, you have your different types of reverbs and echoes. They kind of um, describe it for you so you can find what it is you're looking for. Everything from epic spaces to bright, to dark, to twisted, to fantasy, to plates, dimensions, all these different types. And in any one of these categories, you have a bunch of different presets to play with. You can also save your own presets. As you can see right up here on top, I already have a preset saved called Arse Angels. And I'm gonna show you what that sounds like in a second. I actually used it on this beat that I'm gonna play for you guys uh, when I'm showing you the cook up. But it's really dope that you can save your own settings. You're going to wanna save your own presets. I'm telling you now because this thing is so much fun. You're gonna wanna be able to get back to the creative thing that you made without having to do it all over again. And that's basically it. I mean, it's really simple, really straightforward, but it, it is a powerful beast of an echo and reverb plugin. Now, what we're gonna do is just jump right into the cookup and I'm gonna show you this beat I made, show you how I used After Image on 
one of the sounds in my beat and we're gonna go through some presets and really show you what this thing is all about. Uh, so let's get right into it. If you look right up here on this track that's highlighted, I have these roads. Um, I have these roads and I'm gonna show you what this thing sounds like, what these roads sound like without after image on. Now, I'm gonna just loop this section here. I'm gonna play it with after image on so you can hear the difference. Now, hopefully you had your headphones on. You could probably get a better sense of what it was that was happening. Um, as far as the reverb is concerned, I added a bit of ghosting effect in the background on, on the tail end of the uh, of the road. So whenever the road stopped playing, I timed the echo and the reverb to kind of give a ghosting atmospheric. I call it ghosting atmospheric whistling effect. At the end of every note of the roads, listen to what's happening in the atmosphere of it. So there's kind of like an extra windy, whistled, lush spaciousness to the end of the roads, um, kind of like an aftertouch um, when they're playing. And I really love that. It, it it almost sounds like a whole new sound. Like it gives you a, it gives you a bit of extra tail at the end of each of the notes, and those tails carry some spaciousness, some uh, a hint of whistling and, and all of these different kind of things that just make it sound really interesting. The roads were fine before, but they were a little bit dry and I like how dreamy and spacious they became by using this. So now I'm gonna show you what's going on here. I'm gonna play it one more time so you can hear it one more time. And now what I'm gonna do is turn the mix knob up so you can hear the effect, just the effect by itself. So this is the effect that's playing along with the roads via After Image. I just want you to hear what it sounds like. And so you can see I have gravity highlighted right here. So it is giving a bit of a side chained effect. It is knocking the echoes back. The original audio source is kind of knocking the echoes back a little bit. I have a bit of gravel on, turned on here. I have a bit of sci-fi turned on here. Now you can play around with this a little bit. Like I said before, you have the sci-fi effect over here. You have gravel, you can turn the gravel up even more. You can turn it down. You can also turn any one of these effects down here at the bottom, the sci-fi, the gravity, or the gravel off completely. I can add more sci-fi. So adding the sci-fi, as you can hear, it gives it kind of a spooky effect. It kind of like, it spookifies it. It spookifies the effect. So you can hear the effect without sci-fi. And then you can hear it with sci-fi. And that's really cool. Like I said before, I have the mix knob turned all the way up so that you can just hear the effects. So that's what's happening right now. You're just hearing the effects. I'm gonna turn the mix knob back down to the center so you can hear the roads and the effect playing together. Timing up. 
And now if I wanted to, I could change the reverb from beyond to something else. So I'm gonna just go through some of that right now for you so you can hear the difference. And I'm gonna turn the mix knob up a little bit more so you can focus more on what's happening with the effect. And you can go through some of the echoes over here as well. Change the timing. And that's just some of the little things you can do here and there to tweak the effect and tweak the plugin. Um, but we're going to go through some of these presets here and check it out. So we're going to start at Epic and we're going to check out some of these presets on these Rode Piano. So I have the Ars Angels one. You already heard that. And we're going to check out this event origin. And as you can see, as I changed the preset, it got a little bit brighter outside in the background of the image. So it kind of gives you a sense and a feel of what's about to happen as far as reverb and, and echo is concerned. It's about to get a bit brighter. by itself without the roads playing. All right, next preset. That one actually kind of beefed the roads up a little bit, gave it a little bit more stereo width widen the sound a little bit. And if you don't want so much bass in your echo, you can come over here to the low cut filter and cut some of that out. You can turn the gravity down a little bit so 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 it doesn't side chain the effect so much. So for me, it's not so much that it's a reverb and it's an echo. And I like the fact that it's a reverb and it's an echo. There's a whole lot of reverbs and echoes on the market. That's not the big deal. When you start to go down the road of checking out plugins that are in a category that is already heavily populated with other plugins like reverbs and echoes, it becomes less about what the plugin is and more so about what the plugin has to offer 
as far as texture and sound, like what makes this echo different than the last echo? What makes this reverb different than the last reverb? And I just really like two things about this plugin. One, the presets are really unique and really different. So I do have other reverb and echo plugins in my DAW, but these don't sound like those. And that's really dope because it gives me an option if I wanna go a step further and get really creative, I have something like this that's completely different than those. The other thing that this thing does really well is the settings inside the plugin allow you to really fine tune and tweak your reverb and tweak your echo to get it to sound exactly the way you want it to sound for the track that you're using it on. And that's super important if you're making beats and you're making just songs in general, especially if you're using it on vocals because you don't really want it to overpower the vocals, but you do want it to sit your vocals in a spacious atmosphere, unlike any other atmosphere that's on any other song that's out there right now. You know what I'm saying? So this is great for something like that. It's really cool, it's really creative. I'm gonna just play this beat one more time with my Ars Angels preset that I saved and just let you hear what it sounds like and you can judge for yourself. Now I'm gonna just turn the mix up so you can just hear the effect. Really cool stuff, man. Curtis King, you got a dope plugin. I've really been using this thing a lot and I really love the interesting dynamics that it adds to my beats. Um, mainly sounds like pads and, and, uh, and pianos, roads, like you just heard in this track. I love what it does to the tail of those sounds. It really gives it a new kind, it kind of gives it a new life. Like the sound takes on one shape in the beginning and then that reverb and that echo gives the ending of the sound a whole new life and it takes a whole new shape. And I love plugins that do that. If you guys have any new plugins or VSTs that you want me to review on this channel, leave a comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.